Hello, everyone. No, not an illusion. It is me. Um, by popular demand, I'm back. So, you guys asked for it, and here I am. So, all to start this beautiful Thursday, I'm going to show you some of the new models that we have uh, in the shop. So, I'm just going to turn this. This. So, we've got hats. We've got sweater. This is the Don't Ask. Funny enough as a title, eh? From Isabel, I'm gonna say Kramer, but I don't pronounce it properly. I love the, the way that she makes the sleeve. It's just an accent that just gives more uh, femininity to uh, this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sweater. Uh, not a sweater, cardigan. And we've got the Roman shawl, Roman villa shawl. Ancient art had it on its uh, website, and now it's all for everybody. So I use the Lucky Tweed. Like, see this beautiful red, right? Yeah, just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And I think I'm lying, actually. I think I used the Tweed DK. Didn't I use this one? Yeah, I just lied to you guys. Because I did the Echo Tweed. I remember looking at the uh, Lucky Tweed. But long story short, I think it's the combination of all the colors that makes this, um, this shawl. Because it is a shawl. We do have more white or beige, I should say, on this side. And it's got a little bit of different stitches as you're knitting it, which makes it very interesting. And at the end, we're doing a bind off with an I cord that we are changing colors, which is all your leftover yarn. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Uh, Leslie is still dyeing beautiful yarn. So this is the County Vacay, which is all DK. And up there, you've got a few skeins left of the, um, I'm going to say, um, spin cycle wannabe in the sense that it sort of creates the same thing. Uh, you're not paying the price of the, uh, of the other one. This one, you even have more yardage to it. Well, what else is new? Well, always beautiful display. Erin is a master of doing displays and we've got those things are super cool. They're to put in your dryer and they're just absolutely gorgeous. Um, they've earth. We had bees at one point and see these little guys. Isn't, aren't they super cute? I don't know if you guys remembered, uh, not this this Easter, last Easter, we were doing a fundraiser for um, Ukraine and we did some eggs. It was sort of the same thing. These guys are a lot more dense than doing the eggs on your own. But, oh my goodness, they're really, 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 really pretty. I'm going to sneak in to see if there's a price. Yeah, so it's 37 and there's three balls in it. Um, one thing that has been extra popular these days is, remember when we did, I'm going to switch you back. Remember when we did this, uh, read between the line, it was two skeins of these guys. Do you remember them? Shibji, uh, everybody in this store just says that name differently, which is kind of the fun way about it. And the world... Uh, what happened is you do have 1,000, and yes, I do repeat, 1,000 meter per of these babies, and you take two of them. So this way, when they meet, and if I bring it in closely, the magic is that 10 of them here are pearl, 10 of them here are, stitched, are knitted, pearl knitted for the same color. So that's what creates this Oh, yeah, we do see the illusion very nicely. Yes, it is a long project because you do have 2,000 yarn to knit, 
but oh stunning in any of the colors so go with two of your most favorite color just knit them up and yeah magic happens classes are still happening thursdays and uh sundays sundays i'm gonna say are more busy oh look look what erin does see my little critters of last year and yes we will start again it's not year in the gnome but sarah is having a uh, mystery gnome in june and yes the special one that uh, you guys had last year when i was showing you are now all they were from jimmy beans like not this guy but her and oh yeah, they're a little bit over the place. Oh, but the houses for sure, and the mushrooms, and uh, there was different ones that were just available. Yeah, that's Norman. Norman's got baptized, so Norman lives at the shop forever and ever. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, so to finish my story, Jimmy Bean is having another six exclusive uh, gnome for them. And it's a theme of masquerade, like a ball. One is dressed up as like a, for me, it looked more like Harry Potter theme. But nevertheless, right, it's sort of the castle. Or, and there is a castle. In this bunch, there was a house. In the other one, it's a castle with two towers. And... Uh, I thought it was a spider maybe or a bug of some sort and then there's four different dressed up uh, gnome for to go to the masquerade uh, so I'll be bringing these in to you as they're coming these are starting in June for one a month and yeah I'll let you know what I'm gonna do if uh, I'm gonna be a big baby and ask them to send me one every month or hold it until November because that's what I did last year I did half and half actually I said okay big baby for number one and then wait for two and send it to the big baby because I cannot wait and then they send me the last three in well it was almost mid-November by the time I got them so it was kind of yeah I waited but the pattern comes to me though so on the day of the release the pattern is there so I can knit it up with my own wool and my own leftover which is kind of nice and cute um classes like I said are still going on um Thursday will die off eventually because I'm starting to babysit my grandkids again so I won't be available on Thursday so I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring it at the beginning of the week I'm just waiting to see the schedule of uh, Marie Pierre but uh, Sundays are staying Sundays a big hit some of the of the students are arriving at 10 and leaving at 3 they love me that much oh yeah anyway on that note no tricks for today the only trick I would say is follow the wool if you're any any wondering oh what's happening am i on the right side the wrong side just follow the wool it's going to tell you where you're at and you'll be squared up right away on that note love you i'm back every week bye